Hello. Oh, hi. My name is Max Tundra from London. I have very rarely been to Amsterdam. It's very nice to see you. Thank you for coming to the concert. I'm a control freak in the studio and in many other aspects of my life, but when it comes to live gigs, um, I like to, maybe that's where the chaos comes in, because then, then I do start sort of messing around and, you know, dancing and singing and playing strange instruments. <laughs> I like to produce a live show that is, you know, the antidote to those shows where you go and there's just a guy with a laptop and he's standing there checking his emails and it's very boring to watch. So I like to sort of, you know, do this kind of elaborate kind of performance. <laughs> When I'm working on music, sometimes I find it, it's a bit of a chore and I don't always enjoy the process of being in my room when the sun's shining outside and, you know, chopping up tiny little drum sounds and then, you know, a friend might phone me up and say, do you want to go to the cinema? And I'll say, well, I can't because I'm chopping up tiny drum sounds. I tend to just kind of layer and layer and layer loads and loads of things on top of each other that people can't necessarily even notice. but. I think it's important to reward people who listen to your music more than once with something that stands the test of time. I think it's important to uh, be inspired the whole time when you're working on a new album because people will judge you by your latest record and I think too many bands go on for too long and you know their careers will peak and then after that they'll sort of make slightly shittier music um, and <clears throat> one of the reasons my latest album took me six years was because um, I was very keen to record a record that's better in every way than anything I'd ever done before. It's funny because um, a lot of the time I, um, I listen, well, I'm, I'm asked to do remixes of other people's music and I find it a lot easier to remix a band that I really don't like because it's more of a challenge to turn it into something special. Um, and I find that quite difficult if someone's, someone I really admire gives me their track to remix then sometimes that's more of a challenge because you know, it's, how can I improve on it, it's already great. Yeah, I would certainly classify my music as pop music, although, you know, it's very different to the stuff you might hear in the charts, but then, you know, there are elements of it that you, you know, it wouldn't be too much of a leap of faith to imagine, you know, kids sort of dancing around to in their house parties or whatever, you know. And, you know, old people too, maybe their parents would like it. <laughs> Thank you.